Hello, welcome back. Um, so this is uh, hopefully just going to be a short little video uh, just to run through this um, Marisquilio, probably be saying it wrong, Marisquilio procedure to determine where does the difference exist, uh, the difference. So in the first uh, part, the first video for this exercise, we uh, determined that we had sufficient evidence here to reject the null hypotheses. So not all of these proportions are equal. So which one is different? So the, the Marisquilio procedure requires uh, a couple of calculations. I'm just going to scroll down here a little bit. What we need to do is, is determine our test statistic for, for the test that we're going to be doing. And all that test statistic is, is really just the absolute value of the point estimate uh, of any two pairs of, uh, or any pair of population proportion. So what we're going to be looking at, here we have our three populations. We have cat, dog, and other. So we're going to need to calculate a uh, test statistic for each of the possible pairs. So this is going to be, uh, we'll have to compare cat versus dog, cat versus other, and dog versus other. So we really have three different tests that we're going to be doing. Uh, we can set these up as uh, three nulls and alternatives. That's going to be tedious to do, but uh, let's just do one common HO and HA. So this is the proportion I is equal to the proportion J, or I is not equal to J. And so here's my I's and here's my J's. So we're comparing all of the possible pairs, that should be a not equal to, uh, of, of populations. So we calculate a test statistic, which is just the absolute value of the difference in those sample proportions. And then we compare that to a critical value, which is going to be unique for each of our pairs. And the formula for this critical value is the square root of that critical value, so corresponding to alpha k minus 1 degrees of freedom, times the square root of this thing, which is our sample proportion times 1 minus that sample proportion over ni, uh, the number of observations in that proportion, plus the same thing for the uh, second proportion. So this is now p bar j, 1 minus p bar j over nj. So you can see it's a little bit of a tedious calculation that we're going to have to do. And again, uh, I'm probably going to cheat and, and skip through some of those calculations. But So let's first calculate all of our uh, sample proportions. So let's have, um, let's see here, we'll have the sample proportion for cat, the sample proportion dog, and the sample proportion for other. And so here we're just looking at these yes responses. We want to know which one of these is different. So 34, 52, and 24. So this is going to be 34, 52, 24 out of uh, 90, 92, and 60. 90, 92, and 60. So this first, the proportion of cat owners who would re-adopt the cat is 34 out of 90. So that's 34 divided by 90. The next one is 52 out of 92. And finally, 24 out of 66. Did I make a mistake there? Yes, 66. Okay, so we have those sample proportions. And let me just grab a calculator, 34 out of 90. So 38, the next one, 52 out of 92, so 50, let's call it 57, and the next one is 24 out of 66, so 36. Okay, so when we calculate now the point estimates for each of these, so here we'll have the point estimate, we'll do cat versus dog. So this is our cat versus our dog. So this is going to be 0 0.57 minus 0 
Uh, the next one, cat versus other, 0 0.36 minus 0 0.38. And the next one, dog and other, 0 0.57, 0 0.36. And it doesn't really matter what order we do these calculations in because we're getting the absolute value anyways. All we need is the magnitude of that difference. And then we're going to compare it against this awful calculation, <laughs> this critical value. So I'll write this out once, um, but then I'm not going to do all of the calculations for all three because it's, um, it's an awful calculation. So let's, uh, let's do it first for just the cat versus dog. So I'll do the critical value for the cat and the dog. Uh, so we need that chi-squared, so that's the same as what we used for the test. So that's going to be this 5.991. That was our critical value when we did the hypothesis test. Oops, what's going on? There we go. So this is going to be, oops. <clears throat> where do I have room to write this? Oh, my goodness. This is cat versus dog. Okay, so this is the square root of 5.991 times the square root. So now I need my sample proportion. So if I'm doing cat and dog, it's these two, cat and dog. So this is 0 0.38 times 1 minus 0 0.38 divided by the number of observations we had for the cat owners, which was 90, plus now the same thing for dog, 0 0.57, 1 minus 0 0.57. Number of dog owners that we had, running out of room already, was 92. So that's the critical value that we need for the cat versus dog. I'm going to save myself some calculations here and just come up with this magical number. It's 0.178 as that critical value. So with that, now we can determine whether or not there's a difference between the proportion of cat owners and dog owners who would readopt. So our test statistic coming up here, this was simply, oops, 0.57 minus 0.38, so that's 0.19. So our rejection rule is that if that point estimate is greater than or equal to that critical value, that's when we can reject. So in this case, we can see that, well, yes, 0.19, this is greater than 0.178. So here we can comfortably reject. So we find that there is a statistically significant difference uh, between the proportion of cat owners and the proportion of dog owners uh, that would readopt the same same animal. Now, if we compare cat versus other, so this point estimate here, this is going to be simply point, uh, I guess, point oh two. And our critical value for cat and other, this one is 0 0.19. Again, that's doing all of the same calculation. I'll write it out just so you see. My eraser's not working again, there we go. So for this one, I'm comparing cat and other. So here, let's do this. So I'm using the cat and I'm using the other. So here this would be 0 0.38, 1 minus 0.38, uh, divided by 90, and this is the other, so 0 0.36 times 1 minus 0 0.36, divided by 66. That critical value, that doesn't change, that stays the same. And going through that calculation, that should come up at 0 0.19. So this one we do not reject. So we are unable to say that there's a difference in the proportion of cat owners and other, I guess that's, I don't know, reptiles and birds or something. So they are not likely to adopt the same. Uh, and finally, the last one is dog versus other. So 0 0.57, 0 0.57 minus 0.36, that point estimate is 0.21. And oh, this was less than. And 0 0.21, the critical value for that one. So again, if we go through all of those calculations again, except now we use 
the dog proportion and the other proportion in this calculation. So I'd have to change this one. And this would become 0 0.57 times 1 minus over 92. That one stays the same because it's still the other. That's going to come up at, oh, that's going to be 0.19 as well. So this is greater than 0.19, so we can reject. And so what does this tell us out of our three proportions that we have for cat owners, dog owners, and other? Well, here we've found that there's no difference between the proportion of cat owners and others uh, that would readopt. so those are the same. Uh, the difference here is that dog owners uh, are statistically different. The proportion of dog owners that would readopt uh, is not the same as the other two proportions. Okay, so that's it. I, I say that's it, and oh, that's all there is to it, but I know I kind of skipped through a lot of these calculations. Uh, otherwise, this video would drag on far too long. So the, the process here, we're doing these three tests. We're comparing all of the possible pairs of proportions within that test, that the original hypothesis test that we have done. We need to calculate our sample proportions. So here we calculated those sample proportions of respondents who said yes. Our test statistics is the point estimate of the difference in those proportions. So we're comparing 57 and 38, right? So we're looking at all of these differences in those, uh, in those sample proportions. That gives us the test statistic that we compare against this critical value, which can be tedious to calculate. And we apply this simple rejection rule that if that point estimate of the difference in sample means is greater than this critical value, then that means we have evidence to reject that corresponding hypothesis that in other words, we do then have evidence to say that there's a difference between those two proportions that we're comparing. Okay, so I hope that that helps. I hope that makes sense. Uh, thanks for watching. I think we'll do uh, at least one, maybe two more videos on this topic. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.